Louisa hooked into another Kobe and started fighting it, and it was taking her up to the front of the boat and then back to the back, and it would try to go under it. And she was doing a really good job of keeping that Kobe where it needed to be and keeping it out from underneath the boat. And we would see the fish go down, and then when it would come up to the surface, you would see two or three other Kobe come up with it, and then you'd see it disappear again, and then it come next to the surface. We've seen at some points where there was five, six, seven Kobe all around the boat. Fantastic, we caught like over 20 already. We only can only keep six, but we we'll let the other ones go. Let's catch these for fun now. Drilling it in and releasing them. We were fishing on a small wreck on the base side of the floor of the Keys, and let me tell you, that place was crowded with Kobe. As soon as we got there, uh, they were all around the boat. It was one after another, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Broke it off, I wrapped it on my hand, and I shouldn't have did that, and I couldn't let it go quick enough. But uh, okay, so plenty of them around, we can hook another one. Yep. We have to release it anyway, right? Yep. There you go. We were catching the Kobe with five lot Musa J hooks and live pinfish. Louisa was on fire. She kept catching those fish, and even after we had our limit, she wanted to keep catching them. So she caught about seven or eight more cobia after we had our limit. Right here. Yeah, oh. <laughs> little baby. baby. All right, the smallest one of the day. Oversized remora. We limited out very quickly and Louisa kept catching cobia and releasing them because she wanted to just keep catching them before we moved on to the next spot. So after Louisa released that fish, we went ahead and hooked up another one. One of my all-time favorite fish to catch in Florida is cobia. I like to catch them no matter what time of year it is, and when I'm up here in my area, we're catching them in the, you know, basically spring through fall, but in the winter time, they load up in the Keys, and that's why we headed south to get the cobia. Those get you, you be scarred for life. You try to get this hook out real easy. He's got that mustad J hook right in the corner of his mouth. Pop that out, and it's pretty much out now. So if we get the rest of the way, there it is. And that's just a little one. I got some nice ones in the boat already. Time to get another one. And of course, we had another successful day with two conchs charters. And again, I can't say it enough. These guys really have their stuff together. They have a great operation running out of Marathon. They have several offshore boats and several inshore boats and bay boats that they have going out every single day. They're on the fish every day. And if you're looking to catch fish in the Florida Keys, in the Middle Keys, look up two conchs charters, ask for Captain Jack or Captain Mike. They'll put you on the fish.